Once again, visiting with former NASA engineering executive Dwayne Dietz on this edition of Republic Theory. It is great to have you along. Uh, I'm Dallas Andrews along with Warren Dyson. We're discussing the events of September 11 and really honing in on on Manhattan as um, obviously we all remember what we were doing on that day. It's one of those things that you you never truly forget. And I think some people really, really have trouble digesting that uh, feeling as though even if you go back to JFK, and I'll be quite frank, I'm, I would bet my last dollar that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald did not fire <laughs> the fatal shot that hit JFK. And so here's another, uh, well, it's a murder one way or the other, and yet we don't seem to have much of an investigation, but we have one of these one of these commissions, and I find that interesting that you could have an event on September 11th like we did 2001, and possibly, as you just said, not even have an investigation at all, because I do recall the Bush administration uh, doing everything they could to stonewall an actual investigation, and and uh, not knowing that over the course of time, you still have so many people that feel like uh, the work that NIST did and and the documentaries they've seen on the History Channel and uh, and on Nat Geo are perfectly acceptable and official, and, and there's no problem. And and how do you respond to that in a nutshell? Well, I've been making some efforts to to maybe confront is the right word uh, members of the establishment, and I I went to see a physics professor <clears throat> recently at my alma mater, uh, which is a small college in Los Angeles area. So, since I was a physics major, I felt I could go see a, a physics professor at the college and present them some of this material on, uh, particularly I chose Building 7 to make the case. And the response was, that I got from this individual was, first of all, he said he didn't have the expertise to evaluate this. And I, I, I kind of responded back, well, I've only picked the, the part that is kind of general classical physics. And it seems like you ought to be able to Evaluate that, and I'm only asking you to de- to uh, decide whether there ought to be a new investigation. I'm not really asking you to dig into it. But then his next response was just a, an assumption that NIST would have investigated it thoroughly. And so he says, "Well, I really can't do that until I completely read the entire NIST report on this." So he still had that basic belief that NIST must have evaluated evaluated properly. And finally, when I got to the chart that showed the Building 7 going into free fall and that the structure had to, the eight stories at the bottom had to have been uh, abruptly removed, he just looked at that and he says, well, why wouldn't NIST have explosives as one of their possibilities? So he was just totally puzzled by that he came up with the word explosives I didn't yet he could not back away from his feeling like he didn't have the the uh, expertise I'm not sure whether that was his feeling or whether that was his position where he just didn't want to didn't want to get into this subject any further than that and that was that's the way we left it and hopefully, um, as the effort that you're putting forth, myself, along with um, along with uh, Warren and um, and countless others uh, that continue to wake up to this every day, can start to change that culture. Where um, if you don't, if you're not conditioned not to question the government, that in fact you might even be afraid. Because I'm convinced regarding that. Because you told me this story a few days ago when we spoke on the phone the first time. That sounds like career preservation to me. And you don't have to elaborate on that if you if you choose not to, but, uh, but but we've seen this elsewhere, and changing the culture, I think, is something that must be done, because as I told you, Dwayne, I, I don't know that we'll see a new, investiga- or, or a new investigation. I hope that we do. I support that, you know, through and through, but I think that one of the most important things that, um, that I want to do, that I think we can do, is is prevent the next false flag operation in this United States that um, uh, I don't know that it's coming, but I, I just don't get the feeling that 9-11 was really the, the, 
the last that we'll see, uh, given the, the the aftermath, the wars, the Patriot Act, and so forth. And I think that's. Um, would you agree that at least preventing the next one um, without a war overseas in a couple of third world countries is critical for us? Yes, in fact, I think that's my primary motivation for continuing to pursue this. Is I think we we collectively the the um, the truth researchers, however you want to characterize the group, uh, we need to be able to send the message to whoever planned and carried this out that they can't get away with that anymore, that it won't work next time. And even if there isn't a new investigation, if there's enough of a widespread, uh, let's say, subscribing to that view among the public, if it becomes more than a majority, if polls show that uh, 60, 70 percent have this view, even without a new investigation, I think that would end up sending the message that they didn't get away with it. Uh, but of course, I also would like to see some of our politicians have the courage to uh, speak out and say there needs to be, this needs to be handled properly. And in that case, it would be a new investigation. Right now, we don't have that. We don't have any politicians uh, on either the uh, congressional side or the administration side that will publicly make those kind of statements. Dwayne, we could talk to you for another three hours, I'm sure, maybe even till dawn, but um, our time is up. Um, I sincerely hope you'll come back and uh, see us again sometime. Well, I would like to do that. I'm sure there'll be new developments and things to uh, discuss at that time. Well, again, uh, thank you very much for coming and uh, spending an hour with us, and um, we will definitely be in touch with you, and um, anything we can do to help, uh, you be sure and let us know as well. Very good. Okay, I enjoyed it. As did we. That's Dwayne Dietz, former NASA engineering executive on this edition of Republic Theory. Thank you, Dwayne. It's a pleasure talking to you. But we can focus on what we know. And what we know is uh, the buildings were brought down intentionally. And we know uh, what we know about the Shanksville and the Pentagon. Yes, we do. And and as you look deeper into this, um, if you're just catching on to the show, we've uh, spent the last several shows, our first several shows, uh, dealing with the events of September 11th, uh, 2001. Uh, both Warren and myself have had problems with the official story for a number of years now, and, and we aren't the only ones. So it's our, our not only our pleasure, but our duty uh, to bring you, the listener, no matter what political party you happen to subscribe to. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you once again to Dwayne Dietz, uh, former NASA engineering executive who has given us some great perspective tonight. And we will see you next time on Republic Theory on Jackalope 105 FM. <laughs>